Welcome to Structure Fishing. I'm Jim Shell. I got a little bit of a different report for you here. Not fully a fishing report, uh, but I'm going to talk about the depth and speed control that it took for us to catch these lake trout on our annual fishing trip to Red Lake, Ontario. This was our fifth year in a row going to Red Lake, Ontario, and every year it's something different. Last year was definitely the year to walleye. Uh, we caught tons of walleyes, quantity and quality. Uh, of couple of years or a few years before that it was like a mixed trio of the deep water species where we caught some nice lake trout burbot and whitefish all mixed in uh, uh, but it's a little did something different every year this year uh, the walleye fishing although it was still good but it wasn't we were spoiled it wasn't anything like it was last year but we still caught quite a few walleye uh, and I also caught the very last day of the trip a, a 30 and a half inch walleye which was uh, a really huge fish especially for up there uh, but this year was definitely the year of the lake trout. Uh, we didn't really start fishing for lake trout until Sunday. And we ended up catching 10 on Sunday, 13 on Monday. And uh, by the, the whole entire week, we caught 35. And we really only fished for, gosh, I'd say a total of maybe <laughs> 14 hours the entire week we were up there. Looking back at it, I wish we would have spent more time on the lake trout because that was a species that was definitely uh, most active the week we were up there. Uh, but we spent quite a bit of time fishing for uh, walleye as well as uh, northern pike. But uh, it's the first time that I really used dipsy divers. And, you know, it's a form of depth and speed control. Uh, but let's talk a little bit more about lake trout. Uh, lake trout are very temperature sensitive fish. Uh, when we go up there the middle end of July, these fish, they usually seek temperatures at around 50, low 50 degree temperatures. In middle end of July, that usually puts them at a depth of 45 to 50 feet, sometimes 55 feet. Uh, and lake trout um, are a bottom orientated fish. I mean, they're, they're typically, you're not going to see suspension or that much suspension in lake trout as you would other salmon and trout. Uh, lake trout, when you're specifically targeting lake trout, you're typically targeting the bottom of the lake. Uh, so uh, let me just talk in past years we, that we've gone up there. You know, we would catch a couple of lake trout every year we went up there. I, I think one year we didn't catch any, or the first year we didn't catch any. The second year uh, we caught maybe six or seven, and then maybe two or three uh, each year after that. But prior to using the dipsies, you know, we were fishing a, a jigging for them. We were using like three quarter, one ounce jig down 45, 50 feet of water. You get the right depth control and perhaps the right speed control, but you're really not covering a lot of water with that kind of presentation. Uh, but if the fi fish do want a very slow speed control, you know, you've got it. But once again, we're only catching a, a handful of lake trout for the entire week we're up there. Um, and then the last two or three years, um, we were using these uh, a three-way with a heavy weight, a 12 ounce to 16 ounce, which is one pound ball, our, uh, with a, a long leader with a spoon. Um, our friend Bob has been going up there. Uh, he had a lot of success on that three years ago. Uh, so we started using that. And you're able to troll very slowly with that, you know, three-quarter, one-pound ball. And you're able to cover a little bit more water. Um, and we were catching some more lakers too you know i think our friend bob might have caught as many as you know 10 or 12 uh one of the weeks he was up there and it seemed like every time you used that presentation for death and speed we'd catch a, a couple of lakers each day um, but this year um it was actually quite funny how we started using the dipsies uh, we bought these a couple of years ago for fishing uh at our you know lake michigan uh which we're only you know half an hour away from uh, we tried using them a couple years ago, but we really didn't know how to use them. And I didn't have a long enough leader. I was probably only using a two-foot leader, and the line kept on tangling. And we really tried using them once for maybe 10 minutes, and then we threw them, you know, never used them again until this trip. Uh, and like I say, we were originally using, we only had two uh, one-pound balls with us. One got lost uh, after a couple hours we were fishing with it. Uh, so I said, well, let's pull out these dipsies and give them a try again. And uh, just let me just show you the dipsy here real quick. Once again, this video is for those guys, fishermen, that aren't familiar with dipsies. 
I'd never used them before. And, they, you know, that's how uh, it was for Case and I up until this trip. So we really learned a lot. So I just want to share that experience with those of you that are not familiar with Dipsy. Quite a few of you watching this video are probably very familiar with Dipsy and probably obviously know a lot more about them than I am. But I'm just going to go over the basics real quick and what we learned and what the right depth of speed was for us. But just to show you the Dipsy real quick, you're just using this, is just using this as a, a diving to get your depth control. It, it's uh, just think of it as like a, a crankbait uh, without any hooks or lures on it. As a matter of fact, I was thinking one time of using a spoon plug or a JB, which is a very big spoon plug, to give me the depth control I needed for these layers. But I would have to take the hooks off. Real quick, the regulations up in uh, Red Lake Fishing for Lake Trout. It's a catch and release fishery only. They're trying to rebuild the population. It's been catch and release for I don't at least 12, 15 years, I think. Uh, and the lake trout are really coming back strong. Uh, and with that catch and release program, you're only allowed to use one single barbless hook. So uh, if I did want to use a spoon plug to get my depth control, I'd have to basically take the hooks off or just put a single hook on there. But I would use it to, as basically as a, as a uh, downrigger, similar to a dipsy, on a three-way. But that's a lot of work. Take the hooks off just with that. So uh, the dipsy worked out great uh, and you got your line attached over here and it, there's a release mechanism on here and you can there's a screw in here to adjust the tension uh, you know you don't want it too loose and you don't want it too tight we're out there adjusting it as we're fishing just to get the right tension in you know the idea is when a fish hits it it's going to trigger the release so now you're not fighting the resistance of this dipsy really when it after this release is pulled there's very little resistance on here and you're you're fighting the fish the whole way but with this on here like this I mean, it's sort of like a big bill of a crankbait and it's diving down and it's going out and uh let me sh well, well let me continue talking about the dipsy here in the back of the dipsy here you got like a little dial here and you can turn this let me see if i can a little bit hard to turn there there's a screw on here that i think they adjust that tension too but in the back here, there's a zero, which is right in the center. And there's a right side and left side. And then it goes zero all the way to one, two, and three on both sides. And uh, the zero means that it's going to go straight down below the boat. And if you set it to the right to one, two, or three, it's a one setting is going to take it a little bit further away from the boat. Number two setting is going to take it even more. And the three setting is a maximum setting to get the far, farthest away from the boat. And I guess the reason you want to do that is if you're allowed multiple lines, uh, you can have, you know, one at a one setting, one at a two setting, and a three setting just to get them spread out so they don't tangle. But since you're only allowed one line per person, uh, Casey and I were just putting these on the one setting just to get it slightly away from the boat and down. And then there's these, this ring on here. If you look at the, let me just pull up this chart guide on here. Um, and I would strongly suggest that you download this, save it to your phone, uh, so you can look at it when you're on the water and uh, to know what, how much line to let out or what setting and how much line to let out for what depth you're trying to control. But if you see, uh, there's three sizes here. You got a number zero, a number one, and a number three. And I think at one time there was a number two, but it must have been uh, discontinued, I'm guessing. Uh, the number zero is the smallest dipsy, smallest diameter. You can see from this chart here that the intended range for that is probably down to depth around 30, 35 feet. The number one size, which is the one we used, is the most common size. can get you all the way down to 60 feet, actually 70 feet here. And the number three size will get you all the way down to 100 feet. And if you see uh, on the size zero and the size one here, um, the depth chart is sort of, uh, there's a... Uh, cut in half here and what that means is there's uh these size zero and size one dipsies come with this outer ring on here and with this ring on here it gives you a larger diameter for example here let's say i've got a, a number one setting so i'm slightly away from the boat and i want to get 40 feet out 40 feet depth there's two numbers here 88 feet and 76 feet 76 feet is how much line I need to set out if I had this outer ring on here. If I take this outer ring off, it just snaps out. Then it's a bit of a smaller diameter, and instead of letting out 70, 
uh, 88 feet. I'm sorry, instead of letting out 76 feet, I have to let out 88 feet to get 40 feet deep. I think they make it a little bit more complicated and confusing with this ring. I mean, you're always looking toward, what, am I going to use the ring? Am I not going to use the ring? I would just, personal preference, but I would just not need use the ring just to make it simple, but it's whatever you want to do. But in our case here, we were targeting around 45 to 50 feet with a one setting. So we were letting out about, you can see here, without the ring, about 104 feet is what we needed to let out to get 45 feet deep. And to get 50 feet, we'd have to let out an additional uh, 20 feet or so. And these uh, charts are based on, uh, down here with uh, 20 pound Nobo uh, going around two and a half miles an hour. Um, the, we're using braid, so we probably could get away with letting out a little bit less line. But uh, we were definitely working right around 45, six, seven, eight feet. And if I got too shallow, I can actually feel this thing bump in the bottom just as if it felt just as if it was a spoon plug bump in the bottom. Um, and as soon as I felt the bump in the bottom, I would slow it down a little bit and, you know, so it wouldn't plow. Otherwise, the trigger is going to release on here and then you got to reel in and reset the thing. Uh, but uh, I could actually, I know I was getting the death control because I could feel a bump in the bottom. Then I would slow down. I would swing the boat out a little bit to get it free. But um, once again, we were saying lake trout is a bottom orientated fish. So I was trying to stay as close to the bottom as I can. And uh, it what really did a great job getting me the right depth and speed control we needed for these Lakers. Um, as you can see on the back here, there's what this is called a snubber. It's a little elastic here. Um, some people like using them. Some people don't. Uh, we had them on there, and I think what that snubber does is, um, you know, if the lure would hit the bottom as well, too, you got a little bit of play in there. Um, and uh, I never use these without the snubber, so I really couldn't tell you how it is without the snubber. But um, all the fish we used were with a snubber, and we didn't have any problems at all. I think, especially on the bigger fish, it sort of helps, you know, absorb some of that fighting pulling on the fish. But... Uh, well, other thing I want to talk about real quick here. All right, you got your snubber, and then this is probably the most important thing here is how long of a leader until you get to the end here uh, with your, uh, your your lure. In this case, we were using a, uh, a spoon, you know, I don't know, probably like about a three, four inch long spoon with a single barbless hook. You'll see that all in the video. Um, but I think the reason why when we tried using these a few years ago out on Lake Michigan, uh, we didn't have that. I think we we're only using about an 18 inch to 24 inch long leader. And every the couple times we let the thing out there, it tangled with our main line. And after every time we put it out there, it tangled. We, we'd reel it in to check the lines and it's all tangled. And we really didn't know what we were doing. That's why we never used them again until this trip. And looking online, almost every chart tells you to use a four, minimum of four foot to six foot long leader. And you can see here, this is probably a, a good five to six feet long leader I was using here. And uh, never once did the line tangle at all. Uh, so that's a big key here is make sure you're using a, at least a four foot to a six foot long leader from the dipsy to your lure. And I'll tell you, it, once again, you got to look at this in terms of depth and speed control. It w gave us the right depth and speed we needed for these Lakers and we had a ball catching these fish 35 lakers we caught for the week and uh if we were out there just targeting lakers okay we probably could at least double that if not more um i think i'll be honest with you we only fished total week maybe 14 hours that we actually spent fishing for these lakers using these dipsies um after the first couple of days we caught so many of them we uh spent more time trying to focus on getting some nice walleyes and pike but uh, uh, it really helped us this year catch a lot of lake trout out there and it's a great presentation as well I have not used them on Lake Erie but I've been seeing a lot of fishing reports online that a lot of the charter boat captains out there are using uh, tipsy divers as well on Lake Erie for the walleyes uh, out there you will have suspension and the further east you fish in the, ba in the, in, in the basin of Lake Erie the deeper it is 
And um, I saw reports of, you know, people catching wise as deep as 40, 45 feet down on Lake Erie. Uh, and when Case and I go back and fish Lake Michigan in the spring or in the summer for the, uh, you know, the Chinooks and the Cohoes out there, uh, we'll be using the Dipsy Divers out there too. Uh, it's depth and speed control. And that's what caught the fish for us. You get in right depth and speed control. We did it with these dipsies here. So uh, I'll show you some of the uh, nice lake trout we caught all on these dipsies. Oh, we had, I think we had at least three doubles <laughs> using these. It was a lot of fun. Um, so hope you enjoy it. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, guys. Woo. Dad's got a fish on. First time we ever caught a fish on a dipsy. Used them a lot, but caught caught sheephead before. Never on used them. them a lot. Yeah. Yes. Have not caught a game fish on them. Awesome, man. Feels like a good one. Yeah. How many layers? Uh, thirty. Twenty-five. Wonder if it popped the trigger at all. See, I told you, letting it out slow makes it really not tangle. Yeah. I love it. We are fishing Potato Island down deep for the Lakers. Oh, here it and is. Popped. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get the camera. There's water on it. Now. That's a nice one, dude. All right, case man. It got a fish on. It's fighting just. Really weird. I've never. But it, it took it took line on you. Yeah. I'll, I'll get up here with the net. We're we're, we're dipsies again. About 45, 48 feet of water. How many feet you got out? Fifteen. Oh man! It just did it slam it? Yeah. Woo! Okay. So it's right here. All right, you didn't see it yet, though. I see bubbles coming up. Yeah, it's in the big. It's, it's oh, oh my God! It's, I, it's the biggest one yet. It's the biggest one. Yet. I, I, I'll put the camera down so I don't lose them. Oh my God! Oh, we, 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 we got a, we got a bit of a look at them. It's a pig. It's a pig, Case man. What are you saying? I have no words right now. I'm, I'm shaking. Oh, he's running again. Oh my gosh. It's running. He just tripped. He just tripped 20, 30 feet of line out on you. Oh, he's taking more. Oh, oh my God. I'm excited too. I, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah, this We're is gonna what. We're going to need a bigger net. This is what, no, I, I, I'll get his head in there. Don't worry. This is what we came up to Canada for. This is what we came up with. How many slime you got out now? 30. Oh my gosh, we, we had him all the way up and he's and he's running. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. I, oh man, we didn't want to lose this fish. Oh my gosh. He's still taking light on you. It's, this is a monster. This is a monster. Oh. Oh my gosh. Alright, all right. When, when, when he comes up again, I, I'm putting the camera down so I can get this guy in the net. He we was so close to getting him into the net earlier, and then, he t then he just took a massive run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, how much you got out now? You making any ground on him? Wow. The wind's pulling us too. I wonder if I should motor up, motor up or not. No. 23. Oh, dude. All right, you probably got to go all the way to the front because of the... Dude, if you saw this thing, it is a giant. Did you see it? I, I, yeah, I was trying to hold the camera and look at it at the same time, so it was hard, but yeah, oh my gosh. This thing looked. I 
I can't, I can't make any ground on him. I really don't want to lose this pick. He smashed it so hard. As soon as it, he hit, and then he came in. He was dogging really weird. 14. 14, okay. All right. I'm putting the camera down when I see this thing so we can get him in the net. I'll leave the camera running so you can hear the audio <laughs> of what's going on. All right. I see the dipsy. I see the dipsy. We're getting closer. All right. I'm putting the camera down. I'm going to keep the camera on so you can hear us. Okay. You got to go up to, towards the front of the pulp maybe. Whoa. We got him. Yes. We got him in the net. Here, Casey. Take, take the net. Wait, wait, let me retract it. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. I'm good, I'm good. Oh. There it is. Oh. 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 Alright, 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 alright. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up and wait up and get a picture. Uh what the good alright, alright. Oh my god, it's a pig, it's a pig, it's a pig. It's a pig. Pictures. Look at that. Oh man, look look at that hook in them. Awesome. Awesome. Keep, all right. All right. You want to you want to measure them real quick? Yeah. And then uh, I'll get your iPhone and get some pictures, and then we'll get the release. I, got, I see your phone here. Thirty-five. No. Thirty-five. Thirty. Uh, probably thirty-five. Thirty-five and a half. Thirty-five and a half. I'm going thirty-five and a half. Because if you if you had them on a flat board, the hemp scrapes right here. Okay, no, hold it. Okay. Got a laker on. Right after a couple of walleyes at Golden Arm. Just slammed them. All right, we're back with the dipsies and a spoon again. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll uh, let me see if I can film and get the net. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Sweet. <laughs> First Laker of the day. They slammed it. It's a nice one. Yeah. We, we've been getting adult fish. Oh, I don't I have any here. back here. I we've been getting, uh, all these Lakers have been adult Lakers except for one or two? Yeah. I just love these. Like you said, when they slam it, they just, it's like a, it's crazy the way they slam these spoons. All right, there's the Laker. Nice fish. All right, let's yeah, get the Gouge on it. Yeah. Jesus, dude. Very active. All right, man. All right. Let's, let's get, get some, some more. All right, guys. We got a big, oh, yeah, it's a nice one. big fish on here. Slam him. This is this our second Laker in like five minutes. Oh! oh. <laughs> He's running like Casey's big one. Nice one. I'm not as big as your yours, but coming up now. Yeah, look. All right, put down the camera. Oh my god. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's that's nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my get, god. get the camera, get the camera. Dude, I think that's a pliers? I think that's a 34. It's gotta be a 34. Oh yeah, wait till you guys see this one man. It's not as big as Casey's, but it's Oh, he picture fought great, man. Got the hook right in his side. All of them. That's not bad. Oh, I thought he was bigger. I thought he looked bigger in the water, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, well, he is big, though. He is big. Oh, yeah. Get a picture of this one for me, too. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that, Here, let me get a... Get phone out. Yeah. Get a There's our 30... 30 get really subtle. Nice. 
Nice Laker. Adult fish. Our third Laker for today. Another natural, natural Laker. Oh, he's doing, oh, gee, <laughs> look at him go. You took off on the cat, yeah. Sweet. All right, guys, let's get some more. Two doubles yesterday. This is our first double today. Let's let's hurry up and get these fish back. Really nice thumbnail picture. Hang on. <laughs> they leaned down a little bit. As good as it was, and I'll get a picture. That doubled up. That's Sweet. my case, man. Awesome. All right, let's All right. get these back here. Slam it? It slammed it, man. Made a light 
trout fishing since we started try doing it yesterday and today has just been fabulous and it's great because the walleye fishing is really slowed down. But I'm sure in another couple days I think fishing for walleyes and everything else is really going to get good as we've got really good conditions starting to build up. Hard to tell, they look much bigger in the water, but I'm guessing this is uh, anywhere from 28 to 32. Maybe bigger. Oh, my oh my gosh. He just took a run of about 30 feet there. I can see why they shake the hooks, because they just go berserk. Oh, oh my he jumped, he jumped like a bat, like, like a bass or a muskie. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was a great fight, man. Awesome, man. Another lake you're in the boat. It worked, most of these lakers are all good size. I mean, we've had a few of the smaller stock fish, but this is another. What do you think he is, Casey? 32. 32? No, 30. 30? 30 incher? I mean, whoa. They're all hooked in the corner of the mouth. Every single fish we've had. Alright, just got the hook out. You want a picture of that guy too? Yeah, yeah, you gotta get a picture of that yeah. guy. Here's your iPhone. You got it. Big down there. There's the fish. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> Alright, here. Stocked fish. Pretty sure it's stocked. It's got a, it's got a cut fin kind of. Nice fish. Sweet. Get a close up of this fish real quick. Alright, let's get him go. Here, I'll, get the I'll put I'll put it I'll put it underneath the water. This is uh, Monday evening after dinner. After catching about four or five walleyes at uh, Bob's Hump, we are at Potato Island. Casey just caught a laker and he's got a second one here. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, he's hooked in the jaw. Should I just pick him up by the gill? You, want... <laughs> you want me to net him or do you want to just try to get him both sides? Well, they fight so crazy. He just took another, he saw the boat and just peeled off, what, 20, 30 feet of line? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. This is the 12th Laker of the day today. Probably 30 inches. Yeah. Late 20s? No, no, he's 30. He's. I think he's 30. Yeah. You want to... Get the pliers and just do them in the, keep them in the water. I mean, we've caught so many, so many of these. I don't think we need to get them in the boat anymore, unless it's a really big one to get a picture. Jeez, dude. <laughs> Crazy. You know. We're using, as you can see, we're using uh, dipsies, trolling a spoon, light spoon, in around. Uh, 45, 50 feet of water. Yeah, just get the... You want me to try to grab him? He's crazy. He's still going. Here, here. I'll put the camera down and grab him for you. 